Well, here's another one. This is also a black pine, probably in that 30 some odd year bracket. Um, since we're doing this in a series, uh, I probably don't have to repeat a lot of the same thing. So I'll go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm now working on the other side. I can't call it the front or the back because in uh, Niwaki, we try not to have a very strong front. Should look good from all sides. So I'm just gonna call this the other side. Starting to Get his shape back. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there that needs to be cleaned out before we actually see the shape of this thing. So I'll go ahead and get that thing cleaned up. I took some big branches off. I'm almost te tempted to take that the bottom one it's a sacrifice branch but I shortened it so that it could stay as a permanent uh, got a little bit more work up on top I'll go ahead and get that done okay I think it's looking okay let me go ahead and turn it around so you can see the other side. Okay, this is the other side. You can see where I cut off the big branches. There was one right here. And there was another one up there. Uh, we'll start to get this to heal back. I'm gonna let it kinda grow wild. A lot of times the recovery happens when you have a very vigorous growth. So maybe next year just let it go. Yeah, the other day there was a question of when do you know when you take the, the sacrifice branch off? The longer you leave it, the bigger the scar. Well, that's one of those universal problems that you're going to have to face yourself. Okay, now in terms of what I should do, this lowest branch, I cut it way back in the beginning. Remember, you had that really long there? And I'm almost tempted to take it off. Actually, this tree in its finished state maybe take this lowest and the next one off and then just work with the top. But it depends on where it's going to end up in the garden. Uh, or this could be like a patio. And if it doesn't have intense uh, afternoon sun, I think those two could uh, come off and it would be a very attractive tree. So what I'm trying not to do is to do a refinement, right? I'm trying to make sure that all the elements are in place. This one too has the roof flare and the movement and taper and what we need to decide is the final finish. But we don't know the final finish because we don't know where it's going to end up. Anyway, so this is another one in the series of Black Pines and I'm going to do some more so stay tuned. 
This is Hero saying goodbye. I'll see you again real soon. In fact, in about another 10 minutes, I'm going to get started on another one. Okay, bye.